So this is Prime Mover, and I am going to demonstrate the 100% category. I do want to immediately point out the energy meter on the upper left of the screen. That depletes whenever I use my jetpack or my drill. Managing your energy is really important to the movement in this game, so it's worth keeping an eye on that throughout the run. In this room, you can either kill the bottom enemy or you can jetpack over it. Jetpacking over it seems like it'd be faster at first, but uses a little bit more energy than the drill does. And so, if you do that, you don't really have enough energy to do the rest of the stuff you need to do in that room. Energy conservation is important here because you basically need all of your energy to do that damage boost. So I'm about to get a checkpoint, that's going to be important later. So that was an intentional death. I'm warping back to that checkpoint because it saves a lot of backtracking. can walk under that uh, buzzsaw there, but I thought my timing was a little off so I didn't try it. Normally I would damage boost in this room, but the next room is the reactor and once you decommission the reactor and start the escape sequence, if you die, the game ends and you just get the bad ending. It doesn't matter how many lives you have left at that point. So I want to make sure that I have a little bit of extra health coming out of this room. I don't want quite that much, though. So I am going to damage boost here. The reason I don't want quite that much health is I am going to have to pick up one more heart a little bit later, and there's just no other good place to take damage. So normally there would be an ending screen right here, but because of the way my splits are set up, splitting dismisses the ending screen, so I don't usually get to see it. <laughs> 